Sparks, what's up? And hello to my new subscribers and viewers. My name is Montana Young Portis and my mission with this channel is to inspire, educate, and share information with you that will help you thrive in life and thrive in business. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe. All right, so in this video today, it's actually a series of videos about business because I love business, I love being in business, I love talking about <laughs> and I'm going to talk today about certifications, state, federal, national, and local certifications. And I actually have a lot of certifications listed on my card. Here's my business card in the back. Okay, just grabbed one. And on the front, let me see here. Let me cover a little bit of this up so I can show you. Um, you can Google me. I mean, I'm not kind of trying to hide my number and stuff. It's just a matter of. Actually, you can't get to me on my business card, but I don't want you to see my email address because I don't need y'all emailing me. <laughs> so, okay, that's the front. Okay, that's the front of my business card. So you see my certifications at the bottom. So let's talk about your local certifications. I have a video that talks about, are you ready to be certified? You might not be ready to be certified. Please watch that video before jumping out saying, I'm gonna get certified, I'm getting all these contracts. Don't work that way. Okay, unless you have been asked to get certified by, you know, a company that you're doing business for, I would hold off and make sure you watch that video. So let's talk about local certifications. I'm in the city of Atlanta. My offices are in the city of Roswell. So we have our city of Atlanta certifications. They actually provide us with, um, they'll say that you'll get like your certificates, but they're basically just, um, these are just papers. Okay, just, you know, papers, certified, but it's not like a certificate. And we have the African American Business Enterprise and Female Business Enterprise and Small Business Enterprise, which means we make under $30 million a year. Okay, or it might be $30 million total. You, you'll have to ask them. And this is good for five years for both, contingent upon us maintaining, you know, our eligibility. I, I, I'm, I'm always gonna be a woman and I'm always gonna be uh, um, an American, African American woman, Black American, ADOS, and I'll always be. You know, I won't always be a small business enterprise, so that's what these are contingent on. And that basically gives me an opportunity to compete for business with the city. I have some local certifications, like in my county is Fulton County. So from a Fulton County, I can do, again, business with my um, county. And remember, each of these counties do have some sort of minority and women-owned spend. So women are kind of lumped into that minority and that's why you want to have that certification so that you can compete so that, you know, you're already vetted. So when a company, you know, the county wants to use me or the city, they're like, okay, Montina's already vetted. She's certified. And you have, it looks like you're more credible as a business owner because you have to really put through, a, you put through a lot of paperwork, you put through interviews. It's not easy to get certified. So that's one kind of your city, your local level. And I'm trying to think if we have any other local certifications. Um, we have our city of Roswell minority certification because um, we want to be able to compete for business. So those are some of the things I want you to think about. Every county, we have 100 and I think 69 counties in Georgia. So I literally could have a certification every city, every county. Does it make sense? No, <laughs> not at all. And I don't even know if they all offer that. The other one is your national certifications, your WE Bank, your women's certification, your national minority supplier diversity council certifications. That means you're either a woman or you're an ethnic minority. You're African American, Black American, Asian American, Hispanic American, or Native American. Um, I think that's all, but you have to be an ethnic minority to be national under the NMSDC, and those are called MBEs. We just call it MBEs. <laughs> we Bank is the women's certification, and you just have to be a woman, white woman, black woman, Asian woman, Hispanic woman, Native American woman. You just have to be a woman. And so with those certifications, those help you go after Fortune 500 companies. So those are built for corporations. So if you're like, I want to do business with Coca-Cola, I want to do business with Nike, each one of those larger corporations have what's called a supplier diversity um, employee, I guess, or personnel or whatever. Well, Disney has one. And so that gives you an opportunity to really get in front of them with your product, your business, your service, and do business with them. Now, it doesn't guarantee, again, any business, but it gives you a foot in the door, and they are gonna ask you if you're certified. Um, I'm gonna talk in another video about something called an opportunity, business opportunity exchange through NMSDC. And again, those are centered around working with corporate clients, not federal corporate clients. And I actually love being certified through both of those entities. In Georgia, it's um, 
we are the Greater Women Business Council, GWBC, and then the GMSDC. Phenomenal. They have industry events, networking events. You have a six month action plan. They'll get you the introductions. They'll actually help you understand if you're even prepared to do business with billion dollar companies because that's what these Fortune, you know, 100 and 500 companies, multi million and billion dollar companies. But they're going to help you make sure that you're ready to do that with a capability statement, elevator pitch, make sure your business card is in order. You know, mine's actually pretty, pretty good business card, but it's gone through a lot of iterations. Your next certification is your federal certifications. And of course, I might be missing some, whatever, but these are the ones I know of. And um, your federal are your WASB for women, WOSB, um, economically disadvantaged, which means you don't make over a certain, you don't have assets, liquid assets of a certain amount. Uh, what else? Your veterans, you could be a veteran and have your VOSB, I think it is. You can have your, um, what else under federal do I have? my WASP, um, I'm a certified economically disadvantaged women-owned business, and then your veterans. I think those are the three major under your federal accounts. Oh, and 8A, and I have a whole separate video about 8A. That's when you're competing at the federal level, and again, you have set aside funds at the local, state, federal level. So you're doing business with the local, your city, your counties, you have your state, state of Georgia, state of California, state of Florida, and then you have your federal space. Um, so the certifications all serve different purposes and you wanna make sure that you're first ready. Once you're ready, make sure that you're connecting with other um, people that, business owners that are certified because you might be able to leverage each other's um, capabilities and go after prime contracts where you're the, the number one tier and then you're subbing out that work and you guys can work together on teaming agreements and JVs. I know it's a lot of stuff. It's like, wow, but there are a lot of opportunities out here for business, okay? So I just wanted to kind of explain the certifications. Uh, I would probably start with your city and state. That's where, you know, people are going to the federal because everyone's like, there's money in the federal space. They're spending billions of dollars. Well, your local, you know, ones are too. Oh, I forgot. Your DBE and your ACDBE. So you're doing business with the um, transportation authorities. You need to have a DBE. Your ACDBE. Your ACDBE is when you're doing business with um, the airport concessions. If you have something that can be put in the airport in the concession stand. So again, lots of different certifications and they serve different purposes. I went after you know, like most of them because I know I'm, I'm in this game long term. Once you get that DBE, I want to say it's like forever until you actually financially are no longer within the realm of whatever it is. And every single one of your your NACS codes, NAICS are these codes, like ours is 512110. These NACS codes, which basically the government will put out their local, they have here in Georgia NGIP codes. I'm not sure if that's specific for everywhere, but they have these codes. And with my code, like I can make up to, I think they increase it, it's like up to maybe 50 million. <laughs> And I want to say it's a year. I don't even think it's like from year to year. I don't know. But that's kind of my standard size that once I make over that amount, like I'm not considered economically disadvantaged and I don't have all of these different little perks along with it. So again, those are things you want to think about. You need a competitive edge, okay? There's a lot of people in business and these big corporations, these Boeings and such, they actually get the business, but they have to sub it out. And there's a certain amount that's set aside for minority spend. And if you want to increase your opportunities in this government space, the state, the space, the local, and with the Fortune 500 companies, those are just things that you need to do, okay? All right, that's it. So comment below and let me know at least if you're ready for to get certified and what certification levels you might be looking at, either local level, national level to deal with the corporations or your federal level. As always, thanks for watching, y'all. I love this. I, if you can't tell, I love doing this. So if you have any specific questions around business certifications, being in business and all that, leave a comment and let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Peace, y'all.